And now, your first alert five weather. Oh, the camera's shaking on top of the KOA 5 studios here in Colorado Springs. An indication of some stronger winds are going to be moving our way here over the next several days. Currently, we're at 76 degrees. Very cool, very nice for this time of the year. Feels like 75 out there with a humidity value of around 36%. And those winds strong on the southeast around 18 miles an hour. Down south in Pueblo, the camera isn't shaking as much, but you can see some of those treetops here starting to move about with those breezes coming out of the east southeast around 15 miles an hour and about five to 10 degrees warmer at 84 right now. Elsewhere around the region at this time, 80s out on the eastern plains, 83 for Springfield, 85 down south for Walsenburg, 85 for Alamosa, and 82 in Canyon City right now with Woodland Park, the cool spot at 72 degrees. Widening things out on the bigger picture here, not a lot to talk about. Clear skies all the way from San Francisco to St. Louis, a couple of stray thunderstorms here from this big system in the upper Midwest. But what we're looking at right now is an area of high pressure starting to develop here over the western part of the United States and this is the area of the jet stream. So the jet stream is going to be to the north and what that's going to do for us is it's going to bring in some windy and hot conditions over the next several days, create a downslope effect for us and really start to pump up those temperatures. So watch what happens here over the next two days with our future cast. We do start to get a little bit of moisture here streaming in from the south, but all the major systems are staying well to the north and you can even see that little streak of cloud there all the way from San Diego to Colorado Springs. That's the jet stream right there, bringing in those warm winds for us that is really going to heat up for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. But right around Tuesday, this is where we might get just a little bit of isolated thunderstorm activity for extreme southern and southeastern Colorado. Zooming in here on the future cast, looking at temperatures and cloud conditions over the next couple of days. Tonight and tomorrow, things are looking fairly clear for the most part. A few of those high clouds start to move in with those warming winds. We start to heat things up by about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than we are today. And then we get to Tuesday when it really starts to heat things up. Temperatures will be in the 80s, upper 80s to around 90 degrees for the springs, even maybe upper 90s for down towards Pueblo. But then look at this, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms here in extreme southeastern Colorado. We'll keep our eye on that, but it's nothing that's going to be widespread at this time. Wind gusts, though, that's going to be the big story as we head towards Tuesday and eventually Wednesday. Wednesday. When you wake up Tuesday morning, wind gusts will already be around 20 to 25 miles an hour. And look at this by 5 p.m. right along the I-25 corridor, wind gusts up towards 40 miles an hour. Overnight tonight, temperatures are going to be fairly mild for us. Upper 50s for the eastern plains to near 60, 56 for Pueblo, 51 here in Colorado Springs. And then highs tomorrow are going to be much warmer than they were today by about 10 degrees or so. So upper 90s up towards uh, the, the Arkansas River Valley, 96 for Pueblo and 89 for Rye tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast looks like this. Tuesday is going to be the windy day for us here in Colorado Springs. And look at that 90 degree mark for both Tuesday and Wednesday. Average first 90 degree day is June. We're progging it for this Tuesday. Last year, it was May 7th, which is the earliest it's ever been on record. So we are late to the table on that one, but we have needed the moisture, so that's A-OK -okay in our book. The winds will be with us throughout the week as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and then as we head towards Friday, things start to cool off. Another system starts to move on in. The ridge starts to break down, and thunderstorm chances start to increase for the high country on Thursday. Lower elevations for Pueblo and Canyon City on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well, and we're going to keep those rain chances pretty hot and heavy as we head from Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday on the weekend. But overall, things are looking fairly nice here as we start the work week. Not too bad because the last couple of weeks we've just been talking about rain, 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 and A now we get to talk rain. about some heat. Absolutely. How the summer's finally here. Well, and Tim, it is my honor to be the first person to welcome you back on air with us <laughs> here you. on News 5. I, I think the last time you were here, I might have still been doing the weekend morning newscast. I mean, you were working with Zach Thaxton, is that right? Yes, it was yes. Zach, and then uh, towards the end there, I think you and I had a few shows. Maybe together. a couple of shows. Yes. Yeah. But well, it's, it's nice great to, to have be back. you back. Lots so, of old faces, lots of new faces. I mean, was it was it kind of like jumping right back on a bike? I mean. It, it, you look flawless today, I gotta tell you. It feels like home. I, yeah. It really does. I love everybody here. So ah, thanks for having me back. Glad to have you here. And it's nice to be next to a tall guy again. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Tim. Yeah. And uh, we'll be right back after this.